live from Second City in Hollywood. It's After Dark with Julian Clark. <laughs> Brought to you by Spreaker, Road FM, iTunes Podcast, and Golden Road Brewing. With special guests from Showtime's Ray Donovan, Pooch Hall. <laughs> with music from the infamous Maureen and the Mercury Five. I'm Gary Mendez, and yes, this is real. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Julian Collab! Hey everyone, welcome to the show! <laughs> Garrett Mendez, everyone! Garrett, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing super well, man. Nice! Super well. Super well. Maureen, how you doing tonight? I'm ready to rumble. All right, guys, Pooch Hall is our guest! <laughs> From Showtime's Ray Donovan, uh, he'll be on in a bit, but first let's get to some stories. Um, a woman went into labor on her international flight and delivered the baby with the assistance of the cabin crew and two registered nurse passengers. The mother said, however, she was surprised that when they landed, she was charged for an additional carry-on. Mm. <laughs> that, yes, on that joke. That was my joke. <laughs> Michael Henson of Dayton, Ohio, was arrested for attempting to have sex with the front grill of his parked van. No joke. He was also served with divorce papers from his 98 Chevy Malibu. Ooh. <laughs> They'll get you. They'll get you, those Malibus, man. <laughs> yeah. Car payments. <laughs> a car full of armed men um, in body armor sitting in the parking lot of a Kentucky Walmart told alarmed police that they were just preparing for doomsday. Police diffused the situation by explaining they weren't wis witnessing the apocalypse, just a Kentucky Walmart. <laughs> and that's all the jokes we wrote! Hello, and welcome to Make the News Great Again, the best and only news station in America since the beginning of President Donald Trump's second term. Hail, Hail Trump! Trump. I'm Mitch Collins. And I am not a Mexican. Today's top story is that everything is good and great. <laughs> As of last Monday, the world's haters are still total losers, and Trump's economy still makes China's economy look like a little bitch. A little bitch with tiny hands, <laughs> might I <laughs> have. Of course, Mitch. <laughs> Here your bread rash, my God. Oh my gosh, look at that. Uh, the war with Mexico that broke out yesterday never happened. If you think otherwise, you are a total lightweight that will definitely be deported or sued. And now, Porn star meteorologist Fonda Cox with the weather. Fonda? This just in. Today's weather is the best weather ever. Global warming is a Chinese myth, so increased temperatures around the coastal region are most likely due to President Trump's hot, steamy bod. President of the CDC, Ivanka Trump, announced today that the government plans to blame the nationwide decrease of crops on Rosie O'Donnell being such a lesbo cow. We'll build a wall around O'Donnell and make her fat ass pay for it. <laughs> oh. Back to you, Mitch. Thank you, Fonda. This just in, you are a very attractive object. On to entertainment news. President Trump's biggest supporters have finally gotten their own reality TV show. So be sure to tune in to this week's episode of Keeping Up With The Clan. I'm excited for that, Kathy. I don't, I don't fear that at all. Well, tune in tomorrow for another very good, very big, better than you day here at Make The News Great Again. Not today, Kathy. Not today. And we have done the show on three separate nights and the air still doesn't work anymore. Oh. Garrett, a new study came out that said millennials are having less sex compared to the baby boomer generation. Garrett, can you believe it? Absolutely, I'm terrifyingly lonely. Me too. I spoon my Amazon Fire just to feel like I'm with someone. Mm. <laughs> 21st century, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Well, our next guest is here to shed some light on why millennials are opting out of sex. He's also a, a fellow millennial himself. Please welcome one of our more handsome writers on the show, Jonathan Schwartz. <laughs> Jonathan, thanks welcome. for letting me out of the cage. We keep the other writers. Julian, really appreciate I know. that. I know. I don't yeah. pay you guys either. So. No, you don't. Uh, Jonathan, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. So, Jonathan. Yes. You are a millennial. That's right. And just so the audience is clear, what exactly defines a millennial? Well, it's anyone who owes their parents over a million dollars. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Nice. Well, then, in that case, uh, I am not a millennial. Okay, Garrett. Do your parents pay your cell phone bill? Hey, they offered. Okay. You're a millennial. <laughs> Okay, would I be a millennial? Did you enjoy the show Full House when you grew up? It was a delight. You're a millennial. All right. All now, right, great. Jonathan, yes. um, you look like a guy who has a lot of sex. <laughs> well, Julian, you flatter me, but you are right. I'm like a Jewish Ron Jeremy. <laughs> Just going to pound town constantly. <laughs> So is there any truth to these studies that millennials are having less sex than our parents did at our age? I mean, look, I, I actually think there is some truth. I mean, for me personally, I, I just don't crave sex as much. I mean, I really don't. Don't, don't you agree? Not at all. I love a good romp in the swamp. <laughs> Julian, there are kids listening to this podcast, okay? Okay, so is it true? Why are millennials shying away from sex? All right, well, I think it I, honestly has to do with a number of factors. For one, I think technology and the modern widespread access to pornography, I hate to say it, it really puts a strain on modern relationships. Oh, yeah, but come on. Pornography's always been around. Yeah, but Julian, not like this, okay? I mean, any second, a guy can just whip out his cell phone, right? Take a look at... Oh, God. Ooh, baby. Okay, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I just I get, I get pinged every time my favorite porn category gets a new video uploaded. Oh. What Ooh. category? It's uh, MILFs who like building indoor forts out of used phone books. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so outside of your obvious porn addiction, why are millennials shying away from sex and intimacy? I mean, nothing beats the real thing. Well, there's where you're wrong, Julian. Many things beat the real thing. Okay, like? All right, like uh, unsubscribing from an email list. Um, getting that perfect selfie at the gym that exaggerates muscles that aren't really there. Uh, playing mind games with your significant other using your text response time. Going viral. Cheap quinoa. Going on family vacations that your parents pay for. Getting that free Lyft ride from the airport for your first time with Lyft. Coming up with that Trump joke no one's heard of or thought of yet. Ah, uh, Snapchatting your dick. Getting retweeted by an ex. Telling people you saw Radiohead live when you really didn't. Getting really into vinyl for two days and then thinking it sucks later. Doing the exact same thing with the television show Vinyl. Uh, what else? Tinder judging, regular judging, uh, skipping out on jury duty, finding that perfect bitmoji. Okay, all right. So it's obvious that millennials want to have sex just as much as any generation did, mm -hmm. but there's just so many distractions nowadays. Yeah, I guess. Look, are we done here? Because I could really check Pornhub's Twitter feed. Jonathan Schwartz, everyone! Right. <laughs> Thank you! Oh, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. That mic came out of nowhere. Mic drop! <laughs> uh, guys, it's time to meet our guest. Um, Pooch Hall is currently on Showtime's Ray Donovan, although he's most notably known for his time on the CW and the BET's The Game. Uh, he's an incredible actor who's even more incredible in person, and that's why you're about to meet him. Ladies and gentlemen, Pooch Hall! <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. How y'all feel? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're in a hot theater. They're feeling like, get out of here. <laughs> How you doing? I'm great, bro. Um, I was just backstage listening to the old, y'all hot? Yeah. I mean, the AC's on. I feel good. <laughs> no, I just I think Pooch Hall feels good all the time. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm, I'm cool. You know, I'm, I, I'm the Fonz, bro, so it's all good. Nice. But, uh... Jeez, yeah. where, where can I get a bottle of what you're drinking, man? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> man, if I oh. walked around like that, I wouldn't be like, there he goes. It's, I, you know what, he, you're, you're air conditioned in your you pants. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, w I can relax, but, like, I was backstage listening to, um... The millennials and all that, that's hilarious, bruh. It's true. 
I'm glad you didn't mention a sketch from a previous show because I'm like this. No, that's a different episode. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. So, um, Pooch, how's Ray Donovan? Ray's great, man. Ray's great. So, um, first and foremost, I, I want to say thank you to all the fans and all the people who came uh, out to support, who have been supporting. Um, I got some family, friend members in the audience who are out here who just got a big job. So I want to shout them out, Kim and Stephanie in the building. Um, yeah. yeah. I uh, feel like I feel like you literally just had sex with someone with that eye. It was so. <laughs> I even I was like, oh my god, I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> No, I mean, you know, it's just one of these things, man, where um, as you work, whether it's on the game or, or Ray Donovan, you, you, you meet amazing people, um, people who are on the come up and, and so forth, and you, you, you build these relationships. And um, I'm very fortunate to have people and friends who I call friends in this industry because it's tough to where it's like I want to see them win as I'm winning and so forth and so on. And, being on Ray Donovan, um, it's it's uh, it's a blessing. Um, I'm 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 blessed, nice. blessed. Nice. So. so, I mean, you just haven't done Ray Donovan. You also were on the game. Yeah. Um, but before that, so how'd you get involved in um, acting? Cause you, was that like your original passion? Man, let me just. I, I was like, yo, I just want to do something special. I felt that was special, and um, I got lucky. Um, I went to school. Uh, I didn't graduate, mm -hmm. um, but I went for three years at UMass Dartmouth. Um, I played football, but it was one of these things to where it's like, listen, don't let nobody tell you, it's like, yo, if you don't go to college, you will not make it. I did not graduate, and I'm doing my thing. Um, I applied myself towards the passion of, of being a, an actor, an entertainer, and I. Everything that I learned in school, I applied to, you know, being an entertainer. So um, I got very fortunate, and I kind of got in right as the door closed because now it's all about like reality stars, and which that's fine, you know. YouTube being, personalities, internet personalities. All that, that, which a is, lot of the talent that has run the industry for so long has been sucked out and replaced with people who just have good numbers online. Totally, um, and I felt. Like, I got in right when that door closed, and, you know, from the game to, like, Ray Donovan and then the stuff that I have coming out, uh, which mm -hmm. you guys will be seeing soon, um, I'm very fortunate, man, and, um, and my talent is definitely rising to the top. Um, and then the fact that, you know, I'm able to kind of, like, do my thing to where the fans and, you know, what have you is like, yo! We like Pooch Hall and like we want to see what else is Pooch doing. So um, I'm, I'm, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, that's what it is. Was it, um, uh, just to go back, so you were on the game mm -hmm. and that was an originally a uh, CW show. Sure. And then it got moved to the BET. Yeah. And it was even more successful there. Yeah. And so once that ended um, and Ray Donovan came along, are you now just like taking offers left and right for work or what, what does the future hold for Pooch? Um, there's no, there is no limit. Like, I feel like there's nothing I can't do. And given what's happening since Ray Donovan, what, what's coming out has been amazing. Like, um, um, so we have a film called The Bleeder that I, I, I'm in with Leah Schreiber and Naomi Watts, Ron Perlman, Michael Rappaport, Jim Gaffigan, where I play- He Mo just keeps going. Yeah, <laughs> where I play Muhammad Ali. And um, Leah Schreiber plays um, Chuck Wepner. It's the original Rocky. It's what spawned the Rocky series. Mm -hmm. uh, and the film's called The Bleeder. And we just got accepted to the uh, Toronto and the Venice Film Festival, uh, which awesome. is huge. Hey. Yeah. Hey. And to be playing the greatest, I mean, you know, as a fighter, because I did, I boxed. Um, coming up um, as a youth in Massachusetts. I grew up in Massachusetts, uh, Brockton. Ooh, you yeah. a Red Sox fan? No. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I was very fortunate to um, take my skills as far as being a fighter and bringing them to you know the big screen mm -hmm. and to be able to play Muhammad Ali, rest in peace, the greatest. I mean, I mean what he did for us as a people, um, we can never stop talking about him, um, but it it wouldn't happen 
it wouldn't happen for me without being on Ray Donovan. Mm -hmm. And Liev was just like, I think you have what it takes to, you know, bless this character as far as the greatest. And like, I think you have what it takes as far as like all the traits that what made Ali Ali. I, I see a lot of those things like in you. So um, once I got the opportunity, the audition, I put in the work and made it happen. Um, but even before Ray Donovan, like being on the game, we went five seasons playing Derwin and, you know, just constantly just, you know, strengthening my skills and getting ready for this next level. I mean, Cause that's where I feel. Uh, mm -hmm. I feel like I'm on the next level on my way. So um, I'm ready. Bro. You know, Pooch, I feel like if they said there's a man landing on Mars tomorrow, I'd be like, I think it's probably Pooch Hall. Because <laughs> you seem like the kind of guy if they offer that to, you're like, yeah, I'll learn to be an astronaut today. <laughs> And then you'd be on Mars. Without a spacesuit. Without Listen. a spacesuit. How's that possible? Because I'm a mutant. Listen, you're a mutant. let me tell you something. Sure. Um, I always felt, and this, okay, so you know how they say it's like, it's, you're not cocky, you're confident. I've always had a confidence to where it's just like, I always found myself or saw myself in this industry. And like, for us to work in this industry, we know we belong here to constantly give the, the world this entertainment or a piece of us to where it's just like, okay, I watched, you know, that show and I watched that actor and it's just like, he did something for me. And I think that's our job as entertainers to make sure that we are entertaining because sometimes people will take a time out of their lives just to tune into us mm -hmm. and be like, okay, can you take me away from whatever bullshit or whatever that's going on to where I hate right now or just make me laugh or make me think or make give me some, you know, um, some type of um, encouragement or um, just to make me say, you know what, I don't want to do this. Let me go, you know, do, do this over here because I've always wanted to do that, but I never really had the uh, support. And I'm from a town that people looked at, you know, being an actor was like, oh, it's only in Hollywood. That's, that's not real. Go get a real job. And like now that I'm doing it, people are kind of like, uh, yeah, so, um, what did you do again? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm very, I'm very lucky and, and fortunate and, um, and happy to be where I'm at. Awesome. Well, the, the, the confidence is well justified because you're very talented. Thank you, buddy. When your uh, new movie comes out, will you come back and visit us again? Absolutely. Fantastic. Pooch Hall, everyone! Thank you. Thank you for watching After Dark with <laughs> Julian Clark. Another round of applause for Garrett. Maureen and the Mercury Five, Pooch For After Dark, I'm Julian Clark. Good night. <laughs>